Let the battle begin! You guys know how everybody has some kind of special, like, special attribute about them? Like how Kakashi has that uh, shotting gun. He's like pretty smart. Kiba has that sense of smell. Shikamaru with that shadow jutsu. I mean, if I had the choice to pick one, I probably want to live forever. The only bad thing about that is you can s you see your comrades get old and you stay young. But I still want to have that. I mean, you could have unlimited time to learn so much jutsu. It's like ridiculous. Ooh, man, he's not giving me any choice here. Gotta use my ramen. Oh, I forgot how to grab. I was gonna grab him right there. Oh, he, he avoided that bomb. Gotta get stronger here. Oh, I got him. This is my chance, guys. He has no substitution, except right now. Now, no substitution. Finish him off here with my uh, giant Rasenga. Ooh, he's fast. Forget about what I said, guys. Normal Rasenga. Oh, I have no chakra left. Ooh, he's going to ultimate here. I gotta watch myself. Ooh. Let's see here. It's gonna go long distance on me. I'll go long distance myself. Ooh, he's getting me. Come on, Naruto, you gotta get up, man. Ooh, about time. Thanks to the efforts of Naruto, Kakuzu is defeated, and peace returns to the Hidden Leaf. After a short rest, Tsunade gives Team Seven their next mission, to renew the search for Sasuke. In search of Sasuke, Naruto and the others head into the forest, where they encounter yet another member of the Akatsuki. Calling himself Tobi, he persists in provoking and annoying Naruto and the others. Do you jerks seriously think you can beat me? <laughs> no way! Not a chance! Are you sure he's really Akatsuki? Kakashi! Oh, come on. We don't have time to waste on this guy. You're gonna keep getting in my way! I'll just have to remove you! Let the battle begin! I kinda miss old Goofy Toby. Now we got the serious one that's taking control of all the Jinshiriki, aligning himself with Kabuto, and all that mischief. Oh, can't get hit by that. I'm pretty bad, guys. Oh, I thought I had him there for sure. Gotta go in there and rush his ass. Ooh. Oh, he's running away from you guys. We can't let him do that. He's like the one character that anybody could dress up like. Get that mask and ooh, thought I stepped on a bomb there. Ooh, he's fast. Oh no! He got me with that minefield jutsu. Is that even a jutsu? He just uses paper bombs there. <laughs> minefield jutsu. Alright, alright, we're in good shape, guys. Just gotta go in there. Avoid these bombs. I'm just waiting for him to throw some kind of stuff at me. Oh! 
just avoiding everything I have. Alright, he can't avoid it right now. He got no substitution. He's pretty much gone. Alright, alright. This match is pretty much in the bag. Every time I face like somebody online, I always love the matches where like I have like 0.2 life left and I come back and beat him or beat her. And you can just hear him on the microphone. Oh motherfucker! Ah! <laughs> Man, I mean what kind of combo is that? Freaking slapping me all day. Have to knock you off for that. Having had his bizarre fun with Naruto, Toby flees, leaving behind more questions than answers. With Toby gone, Naruto and the others resume the search for Sasuke. In the end, they fail to find him and return, discouraged and disheartened, to the Hidden Leaf Village. Every day, Naruto grows more and more impatient. Until finally, in a stunning blow, a tragic piece of news reaches his ears. His mentor, Jiraiya, has died in battle. Beset by sorrow deeper than he's ever known, Naruto's tears flow endlessly and he sinks into a pit of despair. But his mentor must be avenged. Naruto rises once more. Greater power is needed. Intent on studying Sage Jutsu, Naruto heads for the land of the Toads, Mount Miyavoku. Meanwhile, the Hidden Leaf Village is attacked by the Akatsuki's leader, before Akatsuki's immense power, the village crumbles. Plumes of smoke rise from the rubble and the spreading devastation. But amidst the destruction, a single ray of light shines forth. That light, Naruto Uzumaki has mastered the power of the Sage Jutsu. Pain. It is pain who killed Jiraiya. Naruto's cry of vengeance shakes the heavens. You're pain. You're the one who killed Pervy Sage. Your death will bring peace. Just allow yourself to be captured. <sighs> Let's finish this! Let the battle begin! Man, I was pretty sad when Jiraiya died. I was like, no, he can't die yet. And it looks like he's just not coming back, guys. I mean, in the series, his body was uh, lost in, in the sea. Oh, man, you see that combo was getting on him? Oh, man. Oh, man, he's like running away like crazy. Like, he knew that Rossane guy was coming. It's alright, we got long range here, guys. Oh! Let's try that again. Something tells me that uh, Naruto should try to put a, a jutsu where he takes the power of the Sage Jutsu. Uh, the Nine Tails Jutsu in his own Jutsu and create some kind of ridiculous Jutsu. That'd be pretty sick. Oh yeah, the Nine Tails Chakra. Or Sage, what was it? Nine Tails mode? Man, that'd be pretty sick. There's like unlimited kind of Jutsu that he could come up with. Ooh, it's over for him. 
that almighty push is pretty oh pretty pretty tough I gotta turn into this uh, nine tails mode right, let's do this guys we're gonna take down pain here can't let him get away with killing Jiraiya I mean what is that I gotta read more of his novels it's not cool The battle which shakes both heaven and earth ends with Naruto Uzumaki's victory. Peace at last returns to the hidden leaf. However, great changes are afoot in the world. The villages can no longer ignore the Akatsuki, nor the Akatsuki's ally, Sasuke. The five Kage assemble to discuss their tactics. Naruto likewise leaves the Hidden Leaf in order to beg that Sasuke be forgiven. But along the way, he encounters an old Akatsuki acquaintance, Tobi. Tobi reveals his true identity, Madara Uchiha, and confesses that he is manipulating Sasuke. Thus, the puppet master controlling Sasuke stands before Naruto, who clenches his fist in rage. The Nine Tails, Naruto Uzumaki. Let's see how much you've learned. I'll get you for what you've done to Sasuke! Let the battle begin! This is like one of the games that I have that has like the freaking longest title ever. I mean if they make a new game, Naruto game, I mean what are they gonna call it? Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations Saga slash <laughs> Naruto's ending, I don't know. I would have named it something else. Oh, he's using that dash like crazy guys. I can't use my ultimate uh, ultimate ninjutsu, so he's gonna he's gonna have some kind of advantage in this fight since I always use my uh, my ultimate jutsu. It's got to be quick here, guys. Can't let him do nothing to me. All right, that did a lot of damage. Let's see if I can do that again. Ooh. Oh man, that dash is killer. So is my Rasengan. Man, that'd be super crazy having that clone ability. If I could really do that in real life, I'd probably have one like uh, do my laundry, the other one going to school for me, and then uh, the other one uploading videos for you guys. Oh shit! Oh, got him there. I don't care if you're Madara. Quit messing with Sasuke's head. Having tested Naruto's strength. Madara gives these parting words. Sasuke Uchiha shall strike the world with his hatred. Then, having toyed with Naruto's anger, Madara is gone. Sasuke is no longer the Sasuke Naruto once knew. What else can Naruto possibly do? Seeking an answer to this question, Naruto heads forth once more. His memories as a member of Team Seven. His bond with Sasuke. A million thoughts swirl through Naruto's mind. He dashes over land and leaps through trees until 
until he meets once more with Sasuke Uchiha. One who walks in light, and one who walks in shadow. Naruto is determined, at the end of his long journey, to find the answer he seeks. He must do battle with Sasuke. And what is that answer at last? You, Hidden Leaf, I will destroy you all! Just a little more, and I'll know the answer! I feel it! Let the battle begin! I think it's pretty much over for Sasuke, I mean... He can't be forgiven even if Naruto and the whole hidden hidden leaf wants to forgive him because he's just killed too many people, you know? He's even attacked the Kage Summit. It's like an international criminal now, it's like it's too late for him.